What is happening guys? I am Genius Tech Tips and today I have an unboxing of the Zing Yu microphone. Let's get into it. So guys, here we have it. This is the new microphone that I've got. Um, as you all know, I'm currently running on the Canon M100 EOS and it doesn't actually support external microphones so it doesn't have a USB jack inside of it so I can't actually connect uh, a microphone on the side or on the top of this camera. So instead of buying a new whole camera and spending hundreds, possibly thousands of pounds or dollars, I decided to buy a microphone. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a little look inside uh, the microphone box, uh, see what we get with it because it does come with a mechanical arm as well which I really opted in for. Uh, so we're going to have a look in the context, we're going to have a look, see what's inside and then we're going to, after it's all built and everything, we're going to do a comparison of what the Canon M100 audio sounds like compared to the Zing U. Let's just get inside the box. So, let's have a little look first. As I say, is there Zing U, quite nice packaging on the side. Right then, so what we have here is little instruction manual there of what's going on what's what no you've got a uh, shock mount microphone phone cap pop filter ah phone cap see i keep calling it a marshmallow for some reason you've got your power cable your mic stand and your table mount and here you have fall in love with your voice very nice words and this is just a little booklet to see who they are what they are um obviously a little bit about their company all that good stuff so i'll pop that to one side so, first of all we have the guard, guard looks alright, plastic on the outside, it's got a metal metal flexi frame here, so it is actually very sturdy, which I was quite surprised about, but then you've just got this double layer mesh on both sides. Uh, you've got a little mountain guard here, obviously that could clag onto the side of the frame or the mountain arm when we're finished. Um, that's also metal, cap is plastic, but there's a little rubber rubber seals inside there. I assume that's so it doesn't damage the metal or whatever you're attaching this to. That's quite cool. Not bad. Pop that to one side. So we have the cap. Obviously I call this a marshmallow. I can't really remember why I call it a marshmallow I think because I don't really know. But you get one of these guys as well. A little bit squished because the way it's been packaged but I'm sure that'll pop out eventually. So we have the audio cable. So simple 3.5 jack. And then that would go into the adapter, which I'm going to show you in a second. And this is the one, this is the three pin for the microphone. So, put that on one side. You have a bracket mount. I assume this is for the arm when I unbox it. Um, pretty, pretty basic. Um, a little mini C or G clamp. A um, little rocker, rubber arm, uh, rubber grommet there, I assume, for the rocker arm. Got all metal. And then you've got some sponge pad on the side there. Doesn't look too bad. So, we have the USB adapter as well. So, you can plug straight into your computer. So, you've got simple USB there. Then you've got your headphone and microphone jack there. Don't know if you can see the little symbol. Um, yeah, that's as close as we're going to get. Uh, you also get some extras as well, just in case. So, you get an extra threaded grommet here. Uh, just in case one breaks and you also get an extra thread for I believe this is for the microphone stand itself but so we'll come back to that in a second so we'll have a look at the shock mount now that seems to be very tightly packed <laughs> pop that down there so there we have so you have this build so it's a metal frame uh, the inside is plastic with some foam inserts just around there to stop the microphone from scratching. You'll have the two metal prongs here which obviously allow the clip to move to get your microphone in then release so it doesn't crush it or anything. And then you've got your, this is plastic so this is the attaching it onto the arm and having obviously that movement. So I assume this, this is the part that attach onto it. Yeah, so that's the one I've just showed you a second ago, so it is also on a replacement just to make sure, just in case the threads go, because if it's plastic, the threads do go after a while, but that's not an issue. So, there we go. 
that's not too bad, it's quite nice. Got a lot of movement on it, seems very sturdy as well, so that's a good sign. So we'll get into the microphone. So, nice looking microphone already. Another one side, so there you go. The Zing U BM800. It is a nice looking microphone. Obviously you can see inside there where the microphone sits. So you've got metal body, little gold trim there. It's not that bad actually, very sturdy. Three pin jack on the bottom. Not much writing, but it does seem very nice. Very sleek. Aluminium shell I think. But it feels like it's very, very hollow, but feels like an aluminium shell. But yeah, very nice. And then we have the loading arm. Or the mechanical arm, there's so many different names for these guys, but whatever suits you best. Zoom out a little bit for this. And there we go, there is your load arm. Obviously I'm going to build this in a second guys, so you'll be able to see how it all works, how it all comes together. But yeah. Not too bad. Obviously this will be the top where the microphone would attach to after you put the shock mount on. And then that would simply go... That simply goes into that and then the little screw goes in the side to stop it. That goes on your table, desk or anything that you need to put it on. But we'll go into that into a second. So guys, that is the unboxing of the Zing Yu. And now what we're going to do, I'm going to put it together. Oh, sorry. You see my dog in the background, he just wanted to say hi. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this all together. I'm going to zoom it out and then we're going to see what it looks like afterwards and then do an audio test. Be back in a second. So here we have it guys. Uh, I'm at my desk now with all the parts. What we're going to do is uh, I'm going to do a speed build. So I'm going to speed it all up uh, as I'm building it. I'll look at the final product and then we'll do the audio test. So I'm just going to start building it now. Let's go. Stay hydrated. I need a new water bottle. If one of you guys have a good water bottle you recommend, drop a link or a comment or something because I'm sick of drinking from these. Anyways. Boom. There we have it, guys. Fully adjustable. Arm goes all the way up. Camera can move to how you want it. So you can adjust it even if you don't want the arm on. Adjust it right underneath you. Pull it down. Pull that down. Boom. There you go. That didn't take me that long to build either, so I was quite surprised with that. I thought it was going to take me a while, but it was pretty easy enough. And it does not come with instructions, so if you don't know exactly what you're doing, which is very hard to do because it pretty much a very simple build you should be alright anyway anyway guys what we're going to do is we're going to come back over here um, and we're going to do an audio test from the camera versus the microphone two seconds so guys as you can see I now have the microphone all set up and I've got to admit for build wise it was really simple to build but it was also it seems also very strong and sturdy so you have a grommet on the side which is if you want the bar to sit higher up but you want to lock it in place you can just simply give it a twist and that's pretty sturdy, that's locked in place. Or we'll loosen it up a little bit if you want to drag it back down. So if you're on a game or something and you don't want you know you don't want it in your way, just quickly move it up and spin it out your way and it's gone, you can just carry on on your computer and just simply spin it back and drop it back down. What is happening guys? It's really simple and I actually quite like it. My guys, this thing only did cost me fifty pounds, so I'm not uh, holding my breath for when it comes to the audio quality. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly change it up. We're going to go over to the screen, uh, I'm going to test the quality from the camera, and I'm going to test the quality from this. So, let's get into it. 
So guys, first of all, we'll do the audio test on the camera. Obviously, you've been listening to me talk this whole video through the Canon M100. So this is the general voice uh, that is coming out of the built-in audio from the camera. And now we'll do to the Zingyu MB800. So guys, what I've done, I have muted the sound coming from the M100, and now I'm, I am talking through the the MB800 new microphone setup. Uh, this did not take me long to set up either, it was quickly plug it in, straight into the USB, uh, just went down in my sound settings and just hovered over the microphone, it just came straight up, USB microphone. If you guys do need ha uh, help with installing this, uh, drop a link in the, uh, drop a link? <laughs> Can't even speak properly today, so. Drop down in the comments if you need any help and I'm more than happy to help you. So guys, this is the unboxing for the MB800 microphone. Links will be in the description for where you can get this guy. Apart from that guys, that's the video done. Thank you very much for uh, watching. If you did enjoy it, please drop a like down below and do subscribe. I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much guys. Juni Tech is out.